Hello, beautiful, amazing, fantastic, wonderful human being and this world and you individual. Today I would like to speak about you can go through your whole life just moving forward, experiencing and slowly but surely turn cold from all the struggle. Or you can choose no matter what happens in life, no matter what comes, no matter the consequences of your past deeds and karmic from your last lives, you still choose to see life as faith, love, hope. You are always warm within you and no matter, even if you have moments of weakness, moments of acting out, lashing out, we always are aware that this will pass and that we are still human and have karmic and ka uh, karmic entanglements and karma to clear up in. Making amends, for example. To not turn cold, even though we are going through a whole lot of pain in life, is a choice. We can give ourselves many, many, many reasons as to why you should not care anymore. Why you should just give up. But don't. By being still warm, by having an inner mob mobility, an inner warmth, an inner love, an inclusion, participation, a certain warmth, light and life, you will stay hopeful, you will stay faithful and you will, well, treat others as you treat yourself, at least. So if you treat yourself with respect, if you treat yourself with dignity and love, you will do so with others, unless you want to treat your own self with love on expenses of others withholding goodness and such just to make another feel bad because you didn't feel good now that in itself is a sin because you impose your own moods on others and make them be affected by it that's just an example by becoming aware of how you feel inside how you are inside how you operate and how you treat others at least reflecting upon it and contemplating it, maybe adjusting yourself based on what you did right and what you might have done better, is how you grow, is how you slowly but surely unfold your potential. If we just move straight forward with love without any interest in life or any other human being or any kind of warmth in life, you will just move sleepingly, dreamingly in this life. Just straggling along day by day without any kind of warmth. But by being grateful for what you have, not taking life for granted. Being, I can't help but say being warm because it speaks for itself. Warmth is inclusive. It is highly attractive, it is highly beautiful. And then you have that push away and being bitter and cold and philistine. It is a push away. And these realities, these, well, realities, you can experience them here and now. And that is what I try to do constantly. To speak about experiential situations and happenings and perceptions. Being warm is being inclusive, is being in interest of the world, is having an interest of another human being. I truly want to see where everyone is going and also to observe and see what everyone is doing the same of. Earlier this day, I seriously, I saw straight out of my window and I saw over to a block and I saw in the third floor, and in the first floor, two TVs I saw that's, that was watching exactly the same. 
And I just thought to myself, seriously, do they have no, I can't judge that, you see, it is, it is my personal opinion and I just like to see people be a little more creative than do what everyone else is doing. That is just my value, so excuse me for that. But it is kind of a uplifting thinking because I want to see people's I want to see people thrive. I want to see people grow. I would love to see people grab a hold of their own inner power and so that they can do action based on their own life. The thing is, life is so much more advanced and more intricate and underlyingly alive than we like ourselves to think. Because if we only think about our five senses and our rationality and do not take into consideration, just as an example, what a color means, how a color feels, this is just one example out of millions. We can never get to understand anything. It is only our five senses and inside in comes our sense perceptions and then we think coldly about it and maybe compartmentalize them. But the thing is, when you go out the door and see a tree and see the, uh, the, the heavens and see the sky and clouds... It is alive and in a constant perception, a constant cognition that is affecting you and living here and now with you. It is not something like, oh, that's a rock. Note that it's a rock. So next time you see it, it's the most boring thing ever. No, it is still that magnificent rock, that beautiful rock that has such an amazing structure and, and such a beautiful form. You see, you, you can go into a tree and do exactly the same. You can go inside an animal and feel what they feel and see what they see and experience what they experience, but from a much higher vantage point. It's the same with other human beings. But you see it equally, of course. You see where they come from and try to be as uplifting and as care, caring as possible. Of, your, of course, from your individual perspective, because... Subjectivity is what we know, but to grow our subjectivity into true loving objectivity is also very important because our subjectivity is objectivity if you allow it to be so. You just need to put your preferences and biases based on comfort aside. That is when you can see things more clearly because once you think everything is a personal attack on you, is when you can't take anything about yourself seriously. You can't even find fault within yourself. Just as an example. So be warm. And be vigilant. But not vigilant as in paranoid. Be awake and aware, listening. Being curious and wondrous. But also have a certain... Concentrate, concentrated focus to you. It is a middle balance between... Non-doing and doing, it is, it is two contradictions blending in together, becoming a human being. That is the third part, we are the trinity, you see? So, yeah, just by musing about these things, you keep your universe alive, you keep it cosmically in, in tune with you and those around you and you understand the world is the more important thing. You do not speculate or are, what the fuck is going on now? Seriously, no. You have a very high insight to what is happening and you are thoroughly and utterly and sincerely trying to help and not be another problem, to not feed into that because everyone else is doing it. Think for yourself. Live for yourself, feel for yourself, and be yourself. But be in love and freedom of morals. That is where your freedom lies. Outer physical reality, we need survival and we need a place to stay and clothes and warmth and such. But inside yourself, in your moral world, choosing what to interest yourself in, participate in, and be loving about and caring and warm, and what to understand 
is you and your freedom. There are two different, there are separate worlds more or less. And yes, your outer physical body doesn't have maximum control and mastery. But it can become so over generations, over lifetimes, over reincarnations. Which is why you master things now, so that you are, have a better body in your next life. You do not do this to see short-term gains. You do this for everyone. And it is hard to uphold it because, yeah, we are egotistical beings by programming. It is not by nature. It is by programming. Because you can choose to be a more selfless and more understanding being. You can choose so. If you say it is human nature to be egotistical and only self-serving, that is your reality, not reality. Thank you. I think this was everything. And I love you so much for finding... Yeah, your spiritual inner faculties for love and warmth and life and light. And faith, love, hope and nurture. And yeah, this is what I stand for. This is what I want to cultivate. And this is what I truly cultivate. It is no true, nothing out in the physical can ever have any more meaning to me than this. No physical materialistic gains can ever give me any satisfaction for a whole lifetime. And nothing can. Only you, your inner life, your love, your participation and your interest in life and human beings and nature and animals and plants and minerals. That is where your freedom lies and your strength lies. And I just wanted to share this with you so you can contemplate it yourself. Don't take my word for it. Try it yourself. Build up your inner world and share it with those that also know because we will be able to meet and to... The more people that individually have found this and come together, the more we can, when we meet, it becomes more of a reality that can be shared among more. You see where I'm going here, this connection. But just contemplating it brings such joy to me. And thank you for listening. Thank you for being you. And thank you for trying to make this world a better place. I love you. Thank you. Goodbye.